Amen. Santa Maria Mater Dei, Santa Maria Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus. Santa Maria Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus. He's expecting oh. you, monk. We've come just for you, so move. For you, Don't let the bishop wait. Okay, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Ken Follett's The Pillars of Earth series. This is... A big siege that has just happened. We're with Philip who has just what is going come on out here, Philip? I, I don't know. Okay, I'm actually confused as well. What's going on? What is going on? Where are we going? Where are we going? Right, so are we going to this um, house of the prior? So I guess we've got to go straight in, right? Go and speak to this bishop. See what he has to say about himself. Bishop, what's going on? I gave you all my word, you know. I don't know. What is going on? This confusion. The right Reverend Bishop Whaler and Bygod. Philip and I are already acquainted. You were looking for me, my bishop? <coughs> I was. Remedius, Philip does look distressed, does he not? There's no no surprise, yes, really. He does. Tell me, what is on your mind? Uh well. Um, who were these men looking for me? Um, who were these men looking for me? Soldiers invaded the Priory. Um, I think let's get straight to the point. Let's, uh, soldiers invaded the Priory. Soldiers have invaded the Priory. Invaded? Oh, of course. I have gotten too used to the presence of knights and nobles. The work of a bishop. The reason why these men are outside right now is your letter, Philip. Oh, it's that letter. As I suspected, it did convince my allies to go against the Earl of Shiring. These allies of mine insisted that their knights should accompany me along with their son. And very soon, they will ride against the Earl. I understand, my bishop. Philip, I have the feeling that there is a storm rising. Right here, in Kingsbridge. And in the eye of that storm stands one man. You. Oh, no. Around you, things... Things begin moving. <laughs> Don't they, Remedius? Yes. But there is one important thing you have kept from me. What's that? There is... My bishop... You did not mention that you, Philip, were nominated to be prior of Kingsbridge. I... Ah, that. Oh, yeah, the well... here will elect their new prior today, will they not? The election will take place in a few hours, my bishop. We need a strong prior. James was my friend, but a strong prior he was not. We are in agreement on these matters, are we not, Remedius? Of course, right, Reverend. See, I still think Remedius is up to saying. And I agreed you should have this. Really? Okay, Prior James Rosary. Okay. Uh, it was founded by Sir Prior Remedius at the river near the spot where Kingsbridge Old Prior is believed to have broken into the ice. To this day, James' grave is in the, the cathedral rem remnants empty. The icy stream most likely carried the Prior's body away. The monks believe that James was chased into the ice into in the small hours of Christmas Day. Some believe by the devil himself, but who is to tell what happened? For, for there was no one out on the river that night, aside from Prior James, was there? Philip receives the rosary in Jan January of 1136 from Remigius and Bishop Wardoran. As a token of goodwill and trust on the day 
of the election of the new prior of Kingsbridge. Okay, so we are going to be the prior of Kingsbridge, it seems. Very well. For now, when your distinguished guests arrive, what will be the subject of your first sermon as the new prior of Kingsbridge? I have no idea. And, oh, and what? Talk about carriage and change. Talk about how the priory is not superior. Uh, not sure if that's the one. That's where I landed, but maybe. Uh, talk about carriage and change? Maybe. I think what I would talk about is. Well, we're pausing. Why are we pausing? I beg your forgiveness, but I do not understand. Oh, Most didn't. of your brothers agree with me on this matter. We did not. Remedius has talked to them. They will vote for you. As will I. No. I will support you in your duties in my role as sub prior. He is. A role you have fulfilled wonderfully in the past, Remedius. Wonderfully. My bishop? Philip of Gwyneth. You will be the new prior of Kingsbridge. Oh. oh, and a gulp. Big gulp he takes. In oh. humbleness, I stand before you, most humbled by your trust and humbled by the great tasks ahead of us. We must restore Kingsbridge to do justice to the glory of God and to his mercy. The desperate and the hopeless everywhere shall hear our bells. They shall see our towering cathedral. Our great church will become... A guiding light, first and foremost, through our actions and our faith. We ourselves shall be such a light. A light to the lost, the hurt, and the suffering on their path to God. The Earl of Shire is not in attendance, it seems. He is not. Shameful. He's busy preparing his siege on Winchester. I trust he does not know we are about to foil his plans, Percy. Answer the bishop, my husband. No, no, he does not expect us, not at all. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So is our son. Excellent. So, so someone Excellent. is conspiring, ready to uh, do something, um... Not very good, whatever it is. Is that the end of there the chapter? You are. Nope. Oh, we're back with. Oh, we're back with this, this group here. What's the matter? Jack and Ella. Have a father. Yes. Everyone. Oh, the questions, of course, must keep coming. Uh, say nothing. What's happened to him? Let's let's dig about that. What's happened to him? What happened to him? He died before you were born. How could he be my father? If he died before I was born. Babies grow from a seed. The seed comes out of a man's prick and is planted in a woman's cunny. Then the seed grows into a baby in her belly. And when it's ready... Way too much dead. information! Why did you never tell me about father? Is Tom going to plant... Whoa! Okay, no, let's ask that one. Okay. Why did you never tell me? About father, I mean. I needed you to be older. Trust me. Once See, the time is right, that I princess put the words into your head. Promise. What was my father's name? Jack, the same as you. They called him Jack Sherberg. So, if there's another Jack, I can tell people that I'm Jack Jackson? <laughs> you can. People don't always call you what you want them to, but you can try. What's with what the vibration? That? Oh, there's an army coming, isn't there? Jack, yes. Find the others. Then hide and don't come out till I tell you. Oh, okay. So we're gonna go straight into the eps. Um, oh, chapter three, four. Uh, so chapter five. Oh, okay. Uh, the pillars of Earth from the ashes. Chapter four. The prior of Kingsbridge. What you did, you have become the prior of Kingsbridge. Uh, Waldoran does as you asked his allies, the Helmslates. 
Leeds uh, attacked Earl's Castle. The thief, you reported, brother Marcus, fled the Priory after a severe caning. Okay, well, except so. Let's go on to the next chapter, and we will start this chapter and go see how we get on. Chapter five. Okay, oh, for some reason it's appeared twice, but there we go. Okay, didn't quite catch the title there. Oh, there are at least two hundred of them at the river. Knights again? What colours do they wear? They are not knights, Philip. Yeah, the game's moving a little bit too fast for they some reason. They cannot pay. It is all right, Brother Paul. I told them that there's a toll. I think we need to um, forget the toll and allow people to come Who's through, your right? leader? Who will speak for you? No one will speak for us, monk. We were chased from every village. They are outlaws. We are no outlaws. <laughs> we come from Earl's Castle. They killed our men. My child. They killed my child. By God. We cannot feed you. We barely have enough for ourselves. Um, we can't feed them. We will give them sh- oh, Okay. Whichever- Oh, I don't know. Whichever one I give will be really poor decision. Which will favour one side but not the other. I'm in a- I'm in- You know, I'm kind of in the middle on this one, I think. Uh, we can't feed them. Um, we will give them shelter. I think we have to. Oh, come on, this place is big enough. Isn't it? It's cold. We will give them shelter. Uh, we have not enough room. Uh, we do. We will give you all shelter. All of you. I wish I had more to give. More? We've given away almost all the food we have. What will these poor people eat tomorrow? Before they came here, they fed themselves. They worked. Surely they could do that again. <sighs> there are more coming. Word is spreading fast. What do we do now, Philip? Give me the rest of the bread. But... Here, Philip. Oh, I can't... It's, it's going... I don't know what's wrong with the game but a lot of the subtext seems to be coming up quite fast and going quickly so we just have to bear with that anyway the last bread we have we're going to take it then help to clean out the empty houses and tend to the injured you heard our prior brothers Okay, take care of the refugees. Uh, come on, Lake Engine on King's Ridge. Oh, so, uh, so where are we going? We can explore around. Oh, like, so we've got a lot more people. See, now, when we first came into this area, there was no one. And now, as we can see, there is loads. But there, So I guess we were heading towards that way. Let's I'm go in. Not running away. Um, I mean, ooh, okay. Uh, it was the Hamleys. They couldn't get their rotten son married to our young lady. If there is any justice in the world, the king will punish them. Right, so I think gathering information is the thing. Right, let's the talk to this. children are all alone. None of them are crying. Okay, and down to here. Don't move, Pa. I can work. I've always worked. Please let us stay. What is this, Pa? Your leg has turned all black. I taught my children how to make baskets and ropes. Ah! Oh. A man with a child? Oh my. Uh, what do I actually have? Oh, I've got to decide who has bread, doesn't I? 
that's the quest I'm doing. Um, okay. How do we deserve this? Why has God forsaken us? He has not forsaken you. But our children are sick. Our husbands were killed. <laughs> okay, right. So, we go to the next group. How many groups? There's one, two, three, four. There's five groups. Thank you, Prior, for your clemency. I uh, know there's only so much you can do. Uh, oh, there is. And how many bread we have? We only have three. There's two groups that are not going to get any. I think what we do in situations like this is I think hungry women and children. Right, so that's. I think that's the first thing we should do. I do not dare. Uh, to call on you, I didn't mean to. I didn't. I didn't mean. Fear, to, you might answer. What have I done? I didn't mean to actually select that one. Right, so bread is what I wanted to do. Right, this Take one. Some bread for your children. This is not enough. He has more bread. I saw it. Please, our children are starving. Give us bread for our yeah. children. I've given you bread. Oh, I still only have two left. Right. Uh, children without parents. Um, I think they will get bread. Oh, this is going to go against me big time, but whatever. Children, take some food. Please, take it. You have to eat. Here, I will put it here. Eat when you're hungry. Okay. Um, right. Wow, we are really trying to feed the 5,000 on this one. Uh, okay, so injured people. Great. This is my work. Yes, well, okay. And what was the final ones? <laughs> Dying man with a child. The man will probably die either way. And that's right. I'm going to have to be realistic about this. Group of refugees. Uh, and then the other group. So there's three more groups and I've only got one more bread. Two groups, as I said, will go without. So I'm going to have to make this one quick. So I'm going to have to. Oh, yeah. Well, I, well, I can't repeat what it is. Bartholomew was a good man. How they humiliated him in front of his children. It was not right. He will come to help us. No woman, they will hang him. But why? <laughs> right, it doesn't seem group of refugees. Group of refugees don't seem to be that in desperate need. Um Let's go down to here again. They said the Hamleys attacked Earl's Castle. Who are the Hamleys? Hmm. Alright. Okay, so I got my last group then. This okay. Words of a sinner cannot help them. Refugees at mill again, so I think I might just do it for the dying man of charge because he's got two refugees. All right, okay, Here, let's do. It. Take it, son. Uh, your sister. Ah! I think that uh, was a right choice. Eaten in two days. Uh, Thank you. Please give some to those get people it over to there. Us. We have Why nothing. did this happen? What did we Our do? Our children wrong? will die in this cold. Huh? Wake Please, up, huh? let us stay where we can work. <laughs> <laughs> Philip's note on the refugees. Inspect. Okay. So I could have... All right. Okay. Philip's note about the refugees at uh, Kindsbridge, dated Jan uh, January 11.36. I sat with the refugees who had sought shelter at our priory. They, they drank, laughed, and they told me horror, horrifying stories, politically, the seizure of Elle's castle. The se Yeah. Uh, was st uh, strategic. A move to support King Stephen, but for these men, women, and children, it was a great tragedy. 
They told me of William Hemley and three other horsemen leading an army of knights. They trampled those who fell, set their houses ablaze, and yelled at them to scream louder. The townspeople fled with nothing to take with them and nowhere to go. Just hearing about it sent shivers down my spine. If we had not gotten involved, this would not have happened. Okay. So I would... Philip, we are running <sighs> yes, out of Yes, and we've got a baby as well. Have you done as I told you? We have cleared out the houses and put up fires. All houses are occupied and our brothers are treating the sick and injured. There is still some room in the guest house and in the dormitory. Tomorrow we will open the cathedral. We need all the room we can get. Prior Philip. Uh, this is... Yes? Tom. I am Tom, master builder. And I'd like to rebuild your northwest tower. Dear God, they look even worse than the others. Like they haven't eaten in days. They just don't stop coming, do they? I have worked on Salisbury Cathedral. My last employer was the Earl of Shiring himself. I know my craft. If you let your tower collapse, it may tear down parts of the nave. Hire me, and I'll make it strong again. Um, helping refugees, more important. Repairs, too expensive. Ah! I guess I get. Oh, I don't know. Do you not see how many there are in need? They need help as much as you do. They all followed a profession once. They all want to work. That child. You are raising a child. My brother found Jonathan in the woods. Jonathan and brought him here. The poor boy would have frozen to death if it hadn't been for God's great mercy. Of course, this is... Jonathan. So obviously, this is Tom's son, isn't it? Look, I am sorry, but all I can offer is why he came here. I'll accept. But I'd rather earn it. We didn't come here to beg. Ask God, then. That wouldn't be begging. It'd be prayer. You remember what I told you about the kindness of monks? Ask God. That wouldn't be begging, it would be prayer. <laughs> oh, I will pray. I will pray for a thunderbolt to strike the church and level it to the ground. I wonder if they refused us because of me. Uh, why can't Tom repair the church? Why can't we go home? Do they know you? Um. Okay. Why can't Tom repair their church? Because these monks want to hold on to their coin as long as they can. Well, they can't see that it's about to collapse. If it did, I'd have worked for a lifetime. But no, they believe it can all be held together by prayer. Uh, do they know you? Can't we go? I guess well, we're still going to be asked, do they know you? Do they know you? I used to live close to here, so it is possible. Right, okay, and then... Maybe that monk will change his mind. He seemed nice. He won't. I could see it in his eyes. He's a stubborn one. Can I look around a bit? Yes, but don't stroll too far. Be cautious of those monks. Okay. Mother. I told you the baby would be safe. What baby? Monks may be whips, but they take care of their own. He will grow up to be a monk. He will. Well, I guess there are worse things than growing up close to God. Right. Mm. Jonathan. That's the name they've given him. A gift from God. Jonathan. Hmm. I wish I could hold him. I know. But you have to be careful. They must never right. know that you were his father. Yes. Oh, we're not. I'm fine. Only that stupid cathedral will fall apart. So we are now back as Jack with, we're going to have to find a way to help Tom. And we are, current location, as we can see, Knightly Priory. So um, we don't have anything else on us at the moment. I'm going to explore this area 
hopefully in the next episode and it's strange now that the two story you know it's it's, it's good when well, it is good it's strange and good at the same time i guess um how the two stories have now part come crossing paths um so we got the story of philip and his priory and now we got tom jack and you know ella and all the rest of them from the from the other side of the story you know from the from the woods and that um yeah sort of kind of kind of meeting up and the fact that now that the tom's youngest who uh, we now know that the monks have taken care of him because he was lost in the woods um so now they have come here as well now we kind of know where we're going around this map but what we're gonna do we're gonna check out everything um as much as we can well, at least as much as we can in the next episode because we've run out of time now uh so other folks you have i liked it if you have then don't forget to hit the like button and um let others know by hitting the share button of course if you didn't like it fair enough that's fine there is a dislike button now pick either one it's completely your choice leave any comments that you got in the comment section down below and hopefully we will see you again next time that's all we got time for. As I say, that, that's all. Um, all I can say now is uh, don't uh, forget. Whatever you do, keep it funny. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now. Bye bye.